Hello everybody, thank you for joining another Gadgetron Repair video. Uh, this PlayStation video here is to show you guys how to get faster downloads than just connecting to Wi-Fi or maybe in just yeah, maybe from even just being wired in. And so in this video I've got two PlayStations connected and I want to show the difference in the download speed um, between um, changing the server, the DNS server, and just, you know, going through it the regular way on your PlayStation. So this PlayStation that we have up now, uh, we're just going to download Apex Legends for on this one and uh, just let it do the regular download and then we'll go through and actually walk you guys through the process on how to put the IP address in uh, to get the DNS downloads, the different server downloads, the faster downloads. So I'm Jawans. This is Gadgetron Repair. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Comment cool in the in the uh, comments below if you're checking this video out. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, share with your friends. And uh, keep looking forward to our videos uh, as we're just giving this stuff away. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already got Apex up, ready to download on this game system. So let's go ahead and start that. Let's see the download time for that. So right now it's looking like about three hours. And, uh, yeah, we're up here at uh, Gadgetron Repair. It's kind of pulling really slow. Maybe I've got a couple other devices connected, a phone, which most of you guys will be at home. You'll have a phone, maybe a tablet, a computer connected, and somebody else will have a phone and a tablet, and maybe somebody else has a phone. So, got a couple of devices pulling from your internet. So, right now, we've got three hours left on this one. And uh, let's go ahead and switch that really quick. Sorry, guys, the old TV here. So we're going to change the source. Go to the other PlayStation here. All right, we've got that one pulled up. So what you'll do, you go ahead and log in. And if you give me just a second here, I'll get you guys together. All right, so now that we got it, everything fired up, let's go ahead and log in. And uh, that is always good to keep an account locked on your deal. And let's delete this app. And what we'll do is go ahead and we'll reinstall it. But let's go through the process here to get uh, the DNS server connected. So we're gonna go over to settings. And then of course we're gonna select settings Then we're gonna drop down the network. We're gonna select network. And then uh, excuse those messages. We'll take those messages off any second now. And then we're gonna drop down to set up internet connection. Okay, we'll select that. And then we'll drop down and use a LAN cable. LAN or Wi-Fi, if you want to use LAN or Wi-Fi, we're going to use, uh, we don't have a LAN cable connected to this one. So we're going to use Wi-Fi. And then we're going to drop down and go to custom. And of course, we're going to select our, our internet. Got to turn first. Not the file. All right, and so now you see the screen. Back up one second. So now that we see IP address settings, zoom in a little bit. We'll go to automatic, and then we will select do not specify. And then, of course, we'll drop down to manual on DNS settings. And then here on this screen, you'll see primary and secondary. 
Let me back out a little bit. You'll see primary and secondary here on this screen. So on the primary setting, primary DNS, we want to select, want to enter this IP address, which is 195.46.39.39. So that's 195.46. Dot four six dot three nine dot three nine for the primary DNS server, and then for secondary DNS server, we're going to enter a different IP address, but it's similar to that one. One nine five dot four six dot three nine dot four zero. So that's one nine five. Dot four six dot three nine dot four zero for the secondary DNS. Okay, we'll go ahead and click next for that. And then for MTU settings, we'll go ahead and select automatic Prox <clears throat> proxy server. Do not use internet updated. And then we're gonna check this out here. Boom, bang, bing, bang, pal. Let me get a drink. And of course, after this, we'll go ahead and go download Apex. So we got 9.8 megabytes on the download, and we got 1.6 megabytes on the connection speed. So let's download Apex. <clears throat> to the PlayStation Store. And thanks for bearing with me, guys. Hope everybody's staying safe. Wearing a mask out there. It is 2020. It is 7 24 2020. And we are trying to push through the pandemic middle of a pandemic middle of the summer 2020 so please be safe please wash your hands wear your mask okay now we are coming to the download for apex legends so let's see what we got here all right let's check the download time speed out okay All right, and now we got download started. And we will go back. And we are calculating. Can you select that? Calculating, calculating, calculating. Time to take a drink. Oh boy, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. All right. Still calculating. So I'm going to have a sandwich. Still calculating. All right. I'm going to pause you guys for a second until we get that figured out. All right. So quick update. Sorry for the mishaps. Um, we are now updated over Wi-Fi, regular way download. And we. I wanted to show you guys the download speed and the upload speed, which is 12.0 and then 2.9. Slight difference from what we did Um on the other machine and all right so there we are now hmm? 
Nine so now this one is saying nine hours, eight hours, blah, blah, blah. Uh, All right, let's check the other one out. This is the one that we actually had changed the uh, IP address for. And you know, 195 dot this dot that, blah, blah, blah. So let's check that out and see what happens. Just really trying to compare speeds. We know that this is a faster download. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we just wanted to check that out. What's up? All right, so we got five hours on that one. Nine hours on the other one, five hours on this one. So, okay, we're gonna pause it. We're gonna refresh. We're gonna test the internet connection again. Now this is the PlayStation that we did the update on. We updated the IP address. So connection speed download, connection speed upload. All right, 9.2 megabytes. And the other one was at 12. Let's test it one more time. Test it again. check this thing out one second all right we are back and I think we just switched networks this process we've already did that and then we want to check the internet speed we connected to another network just to get them off the same network yeah so you guys will never have to put this information in again this information will stay once you change the IP address it will stay in your device um, as long as you click custom so Basically, we just took put put these two separate PlayStations on two separate networks just so we can give a full test so we don't have them on the same network. And there you go. So we saw 8.8 .8 and then 1.1. And five hours left versus... Versus the nine. And we may get an update here really quick.
All right. Those hours are dropping fast. That time is really dropping fast. I'll zoom in over there, guys. We are down to four hours. Four to five hours versus nine hours. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. This game is going to take a while. I love Apex. I'm sure everybody else does. So, And maybe it'll get a little faster here in a second. Again, guys, thanks for joining us to Gadget Charm Repair. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share as we continue to post more videos. We will see you next time. Go ahead and give this a shot. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment below. Uh, we'll see you next time.